Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. In today's video lesson, you will be learning how to make requests. Well, what is making a request? Making a request is to ask someone to do something for you. And when you ask someone to do something for you, you ask it very politely. So you must learn to use polite language when you want to make requests. So today we are going to learn some expressions to make requests. Let's get started. Could I have some information please? Could I have an appointment with the doctor? Could I meet the principal please? Could you please explain it again? Could I have a word with you? Could you spare a few minutes of your time, please? Could you please show me the way to the bank? Could I use your pen, please? Could you please lend me your pen? Never say, could you give me your pen? Could you lend me your pen? Could I borrow your pen? Could I know the time, please? Could I know when he is expected to be back? Could I see the menu, please? Could you please turn off the fan? And these are all some ways of making requests. You can also use other phrases or other expressions with would you mind? We'll go to that later. But let's look at some more requests with could. Could I have a look at this book? Could you help me with this? Could I speak to Mr. Rao? Could you please give me a lift? Could you speak up a little? What's the meaning of could you speak up a little? It means could you speak a little louder? Don't say could you speak loudly? No. We say could you please speak up a little? That means increase the volume a little. Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me change for 500? Well, all these expressions have been made by using could alone. You can also make requests with would. Would you please give me some change for 500 rupees? Would you please allow me to use your pen? Could I or can I use your computer? You can also say, would you mind Closing the door. Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? Would you mind giving me a glass of water? Please observe that when you make a request with would you like? Would you like? Or would you please? You can simply say would you please give me a glass of water? You can say directly, but when you say, would you mind, it's always followed by verb plus ing. Would you please open the door, but would you mind opening the door? Would you please close the door? Would you mind closing the door? Would you please give me a glass of water? Would you mind? giving me a glass of water. Would you please wait for me? Would you please wait for me? But would you mind waiting for me? So, we can make requests with would and could, can and will. We can also use will. Will you please give me your pen? Will you please lend me your pen? Will you please Shut the door. Will you please get me a glass of water? And what is the difference between can, could, will and would? Well, can and will is informal English. Informal English means we use it with close people. We use it with people we know. But when we make requests to people we really don't know well or people who are elder or our boss, a teacher, principal, 
or other colleagues. We use could. And on the telephone, we always use could and would because it's more formal. So, you have understood how to use some polite expressions to make requests. Now, let's see how you can reply to requests. When you agree to a request, you say, sure, here it is. Sure, here you are. Here you are means it is here. You can also say by all means. By all means. Could I use your pen? By all means. Could you please give me a pen? Sure, here you are. Sure, here it is. And would you please shut the door? Would you mind closing the door? You can say, oh, certainly. Okay, certainly. Or you can say, oh, why not? Oh, why not? So these are all ways of accepting requests. But sometimes you may have to say no to requests. When you want to say no to requests, you say it politely. Even your no should be very, very polite. Let's learn how. I'm sorry, but I need it. Suppose somebody asks you for a pen and you have only one pen. You can't possibly give the pen to that person. So what do you say? I'm sorry, but I need it. And if somebody asks you, could I speak to him? You can say, I'm sorry, he's not available at the moment. I'm sorry, he's not available at the moment. And then if somebody says, somebody makes a request that's not possible, then you can say, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. Next, you can also say, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, if somebody asks you to show, show the person the way to some place and you don't know, you simply say, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. So even when you are refusing a request, you do it in the most polite manner. Now let's go to some conversations. Listen to these conversations very carefully and try to practice the expressions that we have learnt in your daily communication. Your communication will really become very, very polite and interesting to everyone. Now let's read this conversation. Could you please lend me your pen? I have forgotten to get mine. Sure, here it is. But please return it as soon as you finish. I need it too. Thank you. I will surely do that. And when you read a conversation, you must show some expression. When you practice with expression, you can speak with expression when you're speaking to somebody else. Now let's look at the next conversation. Hello, could I speak to Mr. Rao please? I'm afraid he's not in his seat right now. What is the meaning of I'm afraid? I'm afraid means I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I'm afraid. I'm scared. It's not about fear. It says I'm afraid. I'm afraid means I'm sorry. Could I know when he will be back? Around three. Would you like any message to be conveyed? No, nothing urgent. Please tell him Mr. Reddy called. Sure, I'll do that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And when somebody makes, when somebody, you know, does something you request for, always make it a point to say thank you. Say thank you when somebody, you know, uh, fulfills your request. Understand? So I'm sure you enjoyed learning these expressions on making requests. And you now know how to make requests in polite language. And you also know how to reply to requests. Isn't it? So, keep watching these videos and learn more expressions. Use them in your daily life. I'm sure you love this. You love this lesson and you found this very interesting and you enjoyed watching and learning all this. So, I'll see you very soon. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe to these videos for more. See you soon. Until then, goodbye.